So this week, Reform Party candidate Benjamin Dade got kicked out of Reform Party for some comments that he made. I had to look into this. If you're getting kicked out of Reform Party for comments that you've made, they got to be pretty loopy, haven't they? <laughs> I first actually found out about this from a video from Count Dankula, most famous for teaching his girlfriend's dog to do a Nazi salute. He had some interesting takes. Reform UK sack election candidate who said that Scotland is like a turd that won't flush. Now, before we get into this, you know, I'm friends with Sargon. I'm friends with a lot of the boys down at Lotus Eaters. There's a lot of anti-Scottish stuff that gets said down there. They shit all over Scotland all the time, just the same as I shit all over England all the time because it's banter. The English and the Scots say mean things about each other. This is what happens. This is what we do. Exactly. Banter. I love banter. I love banter with my mates down the pub, in the workplace to get through the day. Ah, oh, John, stop being a silly little c you stupid c it's brilliant. I love banter. It's British humour at its best. But how does he not understand that there is a time and a place for banter? You wouldn't go pick your daughter up from nursery and go to the teacher. Hey, Julie, I saw you at the weekend. You were f***ing wasted, weren't you, you silly little c And if you're looking to become a member of parliament for the UK, maybe it's not the best thing to call the population of Scotland a turd that you can't flush down. He mentions his mate Sargon Akar. Exactly the same thing happened when he failed to become a member of parliament for UKIP when he was making rape jokes against a Labour MP. I asked you earlier uh, on today about your decision to defend your candidate and his suggestion that he wouldn't even Julie, rape Labour MP <laughs> Jess Phillips. So I would like to ask Carl Benjamin why you think it is acceptable to say on Twitter that you wouldn't even rape a female Labour MP. Because I don't think women are any different to men in the way that we should treat them. Unlike the establishment, unlike our judges, who literally say, if you were a man, I would have sent you to jail, I think we should treat women the same as men. And that means if a woman is being a giant and laughing at male suicide, I'm going to be a giant back to her. Any questions? So it's acceptable? Yes! It is acceptable to, to joke about raping a woman. So as you can see there, these guys, it's just one big joke to them. It's just one massive joke. You're in the wrong job. Okay, if you want to be a stand-up comedian or you want to do dark, edgy humour, rape jokes and stuff, all power to you, fine. I love dark, edgy humour. But you're in the wrong job, <laughs> okay? Go do a stand-up night. Don't run for Parliament. You're expecting people to vote for you to be in charge of the health service or sorting out homelessness or child poverty, and you act like little school kids. I mean, call me crazy, but maybe, you know, take it seriously. If you're going to run for Parliament, maybe? Anyway, back to our good friend Count Dankula. Uh, Labour MSP Paul O'Kane said, Dade sacking is welcome news, but it is deeply concerning that the Reform Party ever entertained him as a candidate. His provocative and poisonous rhetoric has no place in our political discourse and has rightfully been identified and called out. Thankfully, Dade's own credibility and vitriol vitriolic bio has been flushed away because he made a bunch of jokes about Scotland. But that's the thing, though. It's not just a bunch of jokes about Scotland. Apparently, that's just the tip of the iceberg of some of the comments that this Benjamin Dade made. Let's check out the report. So this is the article from Hope Not Hate, which basically got this Benjamin Day fired for revealing some of the comments that he's made. Uh, reveal the shocking far-right manifesto of Reform UK candidate Benjamin Dade. A Reform Party candidate fantasised about deporting millions of British citizens to rid itself of foreign plague we have been diseased with. Hope Not Hate can reveal that Benjamin Dade, Reform Parliamentary candidate for South Swindon, published an extreme policy roadmap in November 2022 in which he anticipated forcibly deporting anyone who has settled in the UK since 97. Jesus Christ! Jesus! What did I say at the start of the video? If you were being kicked out of the Reform Party, you've got to have some pretty nutty views. Jesus Christ. Deporting every single person that has emigrated to this country since 1997. Jesus Christ. That's my wife gone. My wife's gone. She's been deported. She came over in 2001. Uh, what happens to my son, Benjamin? D does he have to go as well? I mean, you're splitting him up from his mother. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, how does this even work in practicality? NHS, imagine the NHS if you deported every single NHS worker that emigrated to this country since 97. There'd be about 10 people left. 
how does this what's the practicalities of it so you're gonna you're gonna go with border force collect up all the people split mothers from their children's take them away i mean since 97 that's got to be a good at least 10 million people in this country that you're looking to deport so what so you round them all up and then and how's the the logistics even work you're going to put 10 million people on a plane so i guess you can't do that all at once so you'll have to maybe like i don't know concentrate them in a certain place like uh, i don't know maybe maybe a camp it's like a like a concentration camp so you round them all up put them in a concentration camp and then <laughs> This guy is bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Now, I thought at least we'd give the guy the benefit of the doubt, okay? So, uh, I mean, let's do a little bit of research on whether he actually said these things. Were they backhanded comments? Does he regret what he said? Or um, was he taken out of context? Let's have a little look at his Twitter. Oh, no, no, he stands by everything that was written in the article. He doesn't deny any of it. And he's even proud of what he said. Unfortunately, this doesn't surprise me either. Followed by that Anna and Paz49. Now, obviously, we have massive disagreements when it comes to politics, but even I don't think that either of you are in favour of mass deporting 10 million of our citizens, deporting my wife, splitting up mothers from their children, husbands from their wife, and forcibly deporting them. Even I don't think you guys have that extreme views. Stop supporting this guy if you're watching unfollow him please don't give him any support so let's just check out this video on his twitter feed where he talks about the hate not hope article you've been cancelled from reform haven't you right yeah so yes <laughs> <laughs> i was not expecting him to sound like that right yeah so yesterday i <laughs> i thought skinhead obvious nazi sympathizer i was not expecting him to sound like mickey Mouse. <laughs> Right, yeah, so yesterday I... <laughs> and what's the deal with this presenter as well? He's like the biggest posh toff in the world. You've been cancelled from reform, haven't you? You got chucked out of reform, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, they weren't happy with the, uh, the little bit of racism. Oh, oh, no, what's wrong with a little bit of racism? You've been cancelled from reform, haven't you? Right, yeah, so yesterday I, little old me, made the news a little bit. Quite literally, some of the mainstream news. Um, so, yeah, I got cancelled in a limited sense. I got deselected. Hope Not Hate did a, a hit piece on me. Uh, I've been mentioned by them before, but they did a whole thing. What's the name? Greg Davies? Is it Greg? Greg something, rather. Gregory. Uh, yeah, they did a whole thing. Um, some of my greatest hits, actually. But yeah, so Hope Not Hate did this, hit, did this piece and uh, some of my quotes. And they're not, like, it's, it's nothing bad, really. I, again, I stand by everything I ever wrote or said. Nothing bad. Nothing bad, really. Just the forced deportation of about 10 million of our citizens stripping mothers away from their children. Now, going back to our good friend Count Dankula, I'm sure when he finds out about the extremities of his views, uh, he's obviously going to wipe his hands of him. Uh, Hope Not Hate also uncovered an article by Dage which called for millions of UK-based uh, immigrants to be sent to their countries of origin. Oh, well, she was still running. Uh, he wrote, the end game is to be in a position where it is possible to remigrate hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people, back to their countries of origin. This should be done without breaking the law, without shedding blood, and with as little disgrace for all involved as possible. Now, honestly, I've, I've joked quite a lot in this video, but uh, uh, this is actually quite scary now. This is really concerning me. This guy, Count Dankula, has got a massive following, right? He's got, like, over a million subscribers, uh, various different social media accounts that he has. He has a lot of views and a lot of influence. And right there, he is literally advocating for the mass deportation of every single person that has emigrated to the UK since 97. This is scary now. Especially the realities, I joke about it, but that, like I said, that includes my wife. You're going to take my wife away from my son and deport her, along with many millions of other exact same scenarios across the country. You're advocating for that, and you have millions of subscribers and millions of people that watch your videos. Green MSP Maggie Chapman said, These comments are as dangerous as they are obscene. They are lifted straight out of the most extreme of far-right playgroup playbooks uh, no one would be willing to bleh, no one who would say anything like this should ever be welcomed in any remotely respectable political party let alone being chosen to stand for westminster well then i've you know green msp maggie chapman uh 
you don't understand how democracy works, or at least, you know, the lie that you sold us of how democracy is supposed to work. Democracy is supposed to be that anyone from any ideology in any walk of life is able to portray their politics to the wider population and use that to gain votes. You can't turn around and say, oh, only certain types of ideologies are allowed within democracy, because then that becomes a managed democracy, as Helldivers likes to say. That's a controlled democracy, and as soon as you control democracy, it's not democracy. Because you've got, you've got the same type of democracy as North Korea. Well, oh yeah, we're a democracy, but everyone else is banned from taking part. Right? That's not democracy, it's fascism by another name. That's, that's what it is. Okay, let me try and understand what he's trying to say here. So he's basically saying that the person that is advocating for forcibly deporting about 10 million of our population, every single person that's come to this country since 97, forcibly deporting them, splitting up mothers from their children, sending border force teams into people's homes, evicting them, deporting them, is not a fascist. <laughs> but the MP in Parliament that is calling out this disgusting rhetoric is a fascist. Now, I guess I kind of understand the point that he's trying to make. He's trying to say that in a true democracy, every single viewpoint should be voiced and heard. But in this scenario, when you have a true fascist, I mean, a, a true Nazi, you hear this all the time from people, don't they? You say, oh, the, the word Nazi's thrown around all the time, you know, oh, anyone that's slightly conservative now is a Nazi. But no, I mean, this guy is a Nazi. <laughs> you can't get any more clearer than advocating for mass deportations of 10 million of our citizens splitting up women and children and forcibly deporting them from this country. He's a Nazi. Let's call him for what he is, okay? So in this scenario, when you have a blatant fascist trying to bring down democracy, then I think it's pretty safe to call it democratic, to shut those sort of opinions down. When you're trying to bring down democracy, I mean, that's, that's exactly what failed in Nazi Germany in the first place. The Nazis did not come from revolution. They came from democratic means. So if you're going to let people be heard that want to actively bring down democracy, that's not democratic, in my opinion. Oh, thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, click a like. If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe up top. I'll do another video up there. I'm going to do more videos on this because this is truly disturbing. It really is disturbing that people have these views and are voicing them to many people in this country. Till next time, take care.